this. It's got back from watching UFC 165. Hell of a main event. Um, didn't go anything like I predicted. Shout out to YouTube subscriber Caesar the Ape God. Uh, he said Gustafson had a chance in this one and showed early on that he did, man. That first round, I actually thought he won the first round. I'm like, damn, maybe the, there's something in this UFC marketing to this fight about the height. John's not, Jones not having that advantage. Gustafson was able to really land a lot of shots, particularly punches, and showed that maybe Jones isn't a. At least Gustafson was better with his hands. If nothing else, and then he got the takedown, you know, that was surprising itself as well. And the fact that Jones couldn't get takedowns on Gustafson. Um, really good first few rounds, really competitive. Uh, fourth round, I actually thought Gustafson was winning that round until Jones hit him with that spinning back elbow. Jones loves to throw those spinning back elbows, but that one caught him in a strange spot, kind of on the top of the head, forehead, but really shut Gustafson. But then Jones, I guess, had to be tired because instead of going for the finish, he went for the takedown. He went for a finish after that, but kind of lost up a little bit of momentum at that uh, moment. Fifth round, both guys were dead tired. Um, going into it, you know, but Gustafson more so. Gustafson moved around, I thought, a little too much unnecessarily in round two. Uh, kind of similar to Dominic Cruz. I thought he moved around way too much. I was thinking, he's going to tire himself out, you know, at this rate. And he ended up being the case. Uh, I'm not saying he tired himself out, but all that movement in the second round definitely didn't help his cardio. Uh, fifth round was good, but Jones kept landing that high kick, and eventually he ended up hurting Gustafson and almost got the finish. Uh, you know, got to give him credit. Uh, Jones came through. You know, he was cut up pretty bad. Took took his lumps, definitely, but in that fifth championship round, show why he's the champ. You know, uh, fought through the adversity, got the challenge that he had yet to face, and came out victorious. I had it four rounds to one for Jones. I gave the first Gustafs in. You can make a case for rounds two or three, but I thought Jones won the fourth, second, third, fourth, and fifth rounds. Hello fight, though. Um, good good main event. As far as the co-main event, what's say about it? Hennon Burrell, um, Eddie Wine speaking of spinning shit, uh, that spinning back kick that glanced uh, Wineland on the head, and then Burrell just jumped him. Thought the stoppage might have been a tad premature. Not a bad stoppage. Just thought it might have been a tad premature, but I don't think Wyndham was getting on that spot anyway. So big ups to Burrell, and man, he's the best man in the world. Even if Dominic Cruz comes back, being off that long and those injuries, he's not going to beat Burrell. He fights him on the first time back, and even when he comes back, Burrell will still be the top man in weight until Cruz or someone else can dethrone him. But I don't see it happening at the moment. Uh, Shab Mitrione, credit to Shab for doing something that – Going for a submission, something he didn't do in the Metamorphers um, uh, event. Good one for him. And big, you know, much uh, respect, props, whatever you want to call it, to Khabib Nurmagomedov um, getting it done against Patty. I picked Haley, but, man, Nurmagomedov pretty much dominated him. And I thought he would gas out by the third because he was doing a lot of crazy movement and wild striking in the first round. Picked up Healy, man, and straight Matt Hughes, Frank Trigg, Two to, across the cage and just slammed him down. I mean, Healy's a big lightweight, man. So big ups to Khabib. Called for that lightweight title shot. Not sure if he won it just yet. I mean, what if Josh Thompson pulls the upset on Pettis and Josh Thompson was in your corner? But anyways, uh, good overall event. You know, not not overall. I mean, for the most part, I guess it was. That Philip Carmont fight sucked. But blame it on Carmont. Blame it on uh, for first Sahabi. Sorry about the name. Anyways, good overall event, but topped by the main event, which was a damn good fight. Could be Canada for fight of the year in MMA. Anyways, one of you guys' thoughts on the main event or the event as a whole? Fight some particular fighters. Um, did Jones show that he's not invincible? That he is vulnerable? That possibly next challenger like Glover Teixeira, Teixeira or Daniel Cormier, if he gets the opportunity eventually, um, can take care of him? You know, and was all this talk of him moving up to the heavyweight division by some people because there's no challenge from a lightweight division? Is that premature? I mean, honestly, I think if that John Jones that we saw tonight was in a heavyweight against guy like Junior Dos Santos, he might not make it out of there standing. So, anyways, one of you guys' thoughts? Um, I'll talk about this event a lot more in depth on the Tomorrow Science Science Radio Show. Sundays, that is. Links to that and Twitter and Facebook stuff and the information, as always. Till next time, I'm out.